There was talk that pink would be the color to make immigration officers at our international gateways look more welcoming to visitors, to remove the military appearance and promote a tropical feel. Well, they are wearing those new uniforms now, and the original color choice has been changed. Let's take a look. No more pink, now peach. And to match the new uniform, the Immigration Department is working toward a new attitude of all officers because they serve on the front line of a very fragile and very important tourism industry. Well, the change was made with the uniforms to make the tourists that come into our shores feel more comfortable when they approach the officer at his, at his desk, his or her desk, and that um, they would not feel intimidated. This was one of the reasons why the uniform was changed at the, at the airport. Right. We feel that um, such softer uh, colors, as well as um, the shirts itself, don't give off of authoritative, uh, like to say, hey, I'm in charge here. And that the tourists, uh, the main thing is for the tourists to, to feel comfortable when they approach the officers at the desk. And while we'd heard pink originally, officers expressed preference for teal, but it was peach which was ultimately selected for the new shirts and said to be kinder on the eyes. WIV4 spoke to Acting Director of Immigration, Alonso Malcolm, who admitted that it will take some getting used to. They are slowly or gradually um, accepting such change. You know, in time, all things, that uh, when, there's a when there's change, change takes time. So they're adjusting. Four or five shirts are what each officer should get. Malcolm talked about the options in styles. Uh, it was more of an orange uh, setting with the black pants. And um, we have two types of shirts. One is a polo shirt that will be worn on weekends and through the week uh, the dress shirts that can be worn outside the pants. And it is not only about looking the part, there have already been exercises conducted by the Hotel Tourist and Training Institute to improve on customer service, but Malcolm says the department is going even further. Well, we have in the past commissioned uh, persons like Nawani Services to provide customer service training for our offices, as well as um, we had interviewed offices to see to see who are more suitable to perform duties at the airport. Um, the whole thing is to provide a good quality customer service. We're looking at setting up a training unit. Uh, when I say setting it up, there is a training unit within the Immigration Department, but we're looking at setting up fully uh, to the extent that we we'll do customer service training in connection with the Public Service Commission, as well as law enforcement training. So that will we'll kill so much birds for one stone with this department in terms of uh, productivity, uh, customer service uh, skills that should be displayed by all the government departments, not only immigration, as well as to boost the morale of the immigration officers themselves. It was last year that Minister of Immigration, the Honorable Galmo Williams, told the TCI that his officers would don the new colored shirt in response to complaints about overly tough attitudes. I think it works. And tomorrow we feature how week two of a procedural enhancement program is going for the over 50 immigration officers of the TCI.